All right, now a geometry lesson. Concave versus convex. All right, I'm going to take a cube and attempt to teach this. Okay, so I got this cube. What I want to avoid is concave surface with collision. All right, so building collision, only convex geometry is allowed. All right, what's the difference? Well, if I insert edge loops, that doesn't change anything. In fact, in most cases, what Maya and UDK will do is take this and reduce it down and use it as its lowest form. Okay, so adding edge loops, no big deal. Taking my vertices, going like this, no big deal. Okay, I can round this out just like that. But let's say the other side has something like this. Convex, concave, hence the name concave, which, you know, if we know it in English terms, it would be just a dent in the surface. That looks like a concaved surface. Yeah, it just doesn't come up in parties very often, I guess. So there we go. That's concave versus convex. And it gets a lot better because if it's like this, there is no what? Bends. So it's not like I can take this whole object and go like this at all. Right? Because now it is a concave surface. <laughs> now, make conclusion models for cave complete pain. That's why I chose a cave, because it teaches you a life lesson. Is there any give on the rule? Yes, there is always cheating on a rule. I'm going to take this for example. And one more. I can make this into a collision model. Okay? I know, right? Because it's actually concaved in. But what the engine does is interprets it by averaging between convey and convex. So therefore it averages between and it turns out just perfect. So meaning what you do here is you take and duplicate face. Click and drag off. And now you have another part. And then that part needs to be extruded blue arrow out, and now that is the collision model for the side of the cave. Now I have to make a collision model for the top. Again, highlight faces, and how it works is, if you just look for the extraordinary vertices, you'll be okay. So in this case, the extraordinary vertices is right here. Again, the extraordinary vertices splits off more than four ways on a polygon. So it's a transitional. You'll know it by, if you try to double click edge, it'll run into it, but it won't go all the way through. Notice, no matter where I go on this, if I double click on it, it will not go through as the edge loop is concerned. Here, edge loop goes all the way around. This one, no go around. Okay, that's an extraordinary vertice. So if you look for that and you have a weird shape, What I do is just this. And the minute it has that transition in here, that's where you want to stop and say, no, I will not make a super concave surface. Again, duplicate face, pull it off the surface, off click, go to object mode, grab it, give it some depth just like that. Now we're going to do that all the way around this cave and that's why I chose a very simple shape for a cave because 
uh, the one that I had before had this circular thing going all the way around it. So I had like a, a bend in the cave. And it would be too hard to teach. Everybody would try to build bends in caves and it'd be sheer chaos. Oops. No extruding. Back to face mode. Duplicate face. Pull it off. Object mode. Extrude. All right. As you can see, this would be a very boring video to watch uh, all the way through. So what I'm going to do is just do this all the way around this cave. I'm going to do it for every little area. When I get to the center, that's very simple. Let's go back to face. I think the hardest part is actually the workflow of you see me staggering between uh, extruding the part and making a new part. I think that's the hardest part of this. Other than that, you can just shut your brain out. Yeah, just like that. My Just having a huge brain fart when it comes down to going back to face grabbing the face, duplicating the face, and it has to be in face mode. So usually you off click, go to object mode, go back to face mode, highlight your geometry. So you have to be in face mode. You can't transition from one mode to the next and have the duplicate face tool work correctly. So usually my, my time is spent in emails going just transition to between the two. So I'm purposely making it look really hard because it is kind of hard to get used to. There we go, face. Then duplicate face, you should get this. If you get the widget in the middle here, it means you've accidentally highlighted a face somewhere else. See, that one right there. And you have to deselect that before. Make sure the widget is close to the surface that you actually use. If it is not, use common sense. So when I get down to the, the transition between two tubes, this is what the collision models look like. Okay, bam, bam. There'll be one at the bottom. There'll be one over here. So go all the way around and make this armor plating for your cave, and then meet me back in the next video.